Okay, so good morning, everybody. Thank you for attending to my talk. Uh, today, we're going to talk about PHP internals. Uh, I'm Gabriel Caruso. I'm from Brazil. Uh, so it's close to here, 12 hours flight. So I work for a company called Le Roi Merlin. Uh, it's, pr it's probably famous here in Europe. Uh, as the speaker, as the sex voice said, I'm PHP enthusiast. Uh, I am a PHPSP member, PHPSP is one of the major community in the world, is the most active community, is from Sao Paulo. Uh, I'm an open source contributor, so if you are in the PHP ecosystem, uh, in GitHub, you probably already saw a per request of mine. And I like to refactor, I like talks, I like elephants, as you can see, and as well, uh, I like seekers, so if you have some seekers, please come to me. So, we have an agenda. The agenda, we were going to talk about some background about how I came to be a PHP internals person. Uh, where is the PHP source code? Because some people think it's on GitHub, but it actually it isn't. Uh, we're going to build the PHP score. That's actually funny because we are going to touch C code today. Uh, we are, we are going to create a new function for PHP. That's the purpose of this talk. As well, we are going to write some tests for this function, so we apply TDD on the curve, and uh, as well, I have a conclusion, and uh, we have some something to talk. So, uh, before we start, does anybody here ever contribute to PHP score? Okay, one person. <laughs> uh, okay, some a couple of backgrounds. Uh, as I said, for my community, I started to I enjoyed this Slack. It's Slack on Brazil. We have like 2,000 people on that Slack, so it's a pretty active Slack. And uh, when PHP 7.2 came up, uh, there was this, sorry for that, but this shit. Like, if you try to count on something that it isn't countable, for example, a string, we get a warning. This started to appear on PHP 7.2. Do you remember that? I hope so. Uh, so people are starting to, to check on that variable uh, before count to eliminate this warning. And uh, this check was actually pretty common. So they usually check for an array or for an instance of countable to count. Because if you catch this error message, it says uh, parameter should be at an array or an instance of countable. So I was like, OK, this actually check is pretty common. So why we don't have something like that? It's countable. Because like the check was is pretty like it almost follows that rule. Like is an array or is an instance of countable. So why don't have this check on the core? So I was like, okay, I want to do that function. Why? How? When? I don't know, but I want to do. So I went to GitHub. Uh, and start to, to search for the PHP search code. And I, I found it under the PHP organization. So here's the PHP search code. It's under PHP, PHP search. Uh, actually, the last commit was mine. Oh, cool. And uh, so here's the PHP search code. And well, actually, it isn't. And that's something really fun. Because uh, I, I was like, I need to put two code for the core, but I can't touch the GitHub for some reason. Like, I tried to push it, to open up a request and all that stuff, and I couldn't. Why? Because the core of PHP, it isn't on GitHub. GitHub is a mirror. It's something like really fun. So the actually core is under this domain. It's http uh, git.php.net. Actually, let's access that domain. Each.php.net. So the core is actually only this project. And here's the core. The core is actually not on GitHub. The GitHub is actually a mirror of only that folder. So if it, for some reason you want to contribute to PHP, yes, you can open up a request. For example, here you have a lot of requests. But for after uh, a lot of process, RFC, uh, get your e PHP done at email, get karma, all that stuff, you can start to contribute to this URL. 
Actually, if I go to my fork, uh, git remote, let's see. It's actually okay. Yes. So here, my I, my upstream, it isn't like GitHub. It's Git. So that's the first. Uh, okay. So this is the first thing of this talk. You, you actually need to contribute to this domain. So as we spoke, we have the mirror on the PHP on the GitHub. But if you want to contribute, you need to go to that website. And. Uh, how do we use the core? Like, I want to contribute to the core, so how I'm going to use? The PHP source code is right in C, so we need to compile a C project. And from our scare that sounds like, it's actually easy. You just clone that URL. You need to, to install some, some shit on your computer, so you need to install something called Build Essential. It's something related to build a C project. Um, you need to build autoconf. Autoconf is responsible for creating the configure file. Configure file is not composer JSON. Uh, composer JSON is something else. I'm going to explain it later. Uh, just to, to, to meet each other, who was last year in Derek's, in Derek's talk about PHP internals? So, so one person. So last year, I want to repeat what he said. I, I really recommend you to see. Derek talked about uh, how PHP process compile works. So for example, you have your code, then you, your, the core starts to interpret the code. It starts to compile that code and a lot of stuff. So go check his talk. It's actually pretty complete, so I won't repeat. And then for some reason, PHP has this dependency on XML. Uh, here's what I said about build conf. Uh, so to first start to build a core, you need to call this uh, is, is a file. It's a file. So you need to call this file called build conf. It will identify your open your open system, your operation system, sorry. So if it is on Windows, if it is on Mac, if it's on Linux, it detects everything. Here is almost composer JSON. So instead of declaring, like I want to Laravel, I launch PHP launch, I want PHP stone, you just like call the configure file that this previous build config build. Uh, we are gonna use some flags. The flags are the dependencies, like composer. So you have to, you are going to maintain the core, so you need to enable that that flag. We want some debugging, so we can enable that. And to give us the CLI, like so we, so we can debug some stuff, we can use enable CLI. Um, then uh, this this command is actually pretty no by you. Is make from the make file. So you make that the all that thing that you compile, you make. Uh, this is some, a tip. Uh, if you ever use make and use, this is also a comment from, in my case, Linux. If you, actually, let's try that out. If you try nproc in your terminal, nproc, it really returns the number of the cores. In my case, I have four cores. So if I type my number of cores plus one, I will have a fast compilation because, like, compile PHP core is huge. PHP core search code is huge. So the fast you can, the best you get. So, uh, so if it, uh, I'll actually I won't compile that source code or live because like PHP source code, as I said, is huge, so it takes some time. It takes actually closest to one to two minutes to compile. So, but if everything goes right, under sap CLI PHP, you have a working PHP. Uh, building in your local computer. Uh, actually, I, I am the master branch of PHP. So if I tap git branch, I'm the master branch. And some other branches I work on. So always the master branch is the next version of PHP. Current, the next version in the core is 7.3. Sorry, uh, is 7.4. For us in the user land, is 7.3. So everything, oh, sorry. Everything went right. So 
Let's call that function. So as I said previously, I want to call the scoutable function. So I'm going to try that uh, to with you. So, but before we started, I want to I need to say something about PHP Score because besides PHP be a C project, PHP is actually a framework in C. So uh, this is actually a C stuff. There are some, of course, we have the C files we are going to code, but we also have these H files. H files are interface <laughs> because P uh, C don't have the concept of classes. So, but we need to touch these files. So there's a point. Uh, C has macros. Macros is actually something re really helpful in C because, like, uh, if you have some complex logic on your C code in your PHP code, you actually use helpers. So in C, we have these macros. I'm going to show you. Uh, this is actually helpful. C compiles the change code every time we change it. So if you type a code, you compile it again. We need to compile it again so we can see the affected change. And PHP has something called Zend parse parameters. Uh, I need to show you this right now, because so you can understand. Actually, I'm, I'm going to show you later. But just to summarize, Zend parse parameters is how PHP interprets is one of the last steps of how PHP interprets our code. So, for example, if you call the function array map, I always forgot what's first if it's the call or if it's the we ne nev nobody knows. Array, array map. So the function, the first is callable, the second is array, because if you go to array filter, for example, the first is array, the second is callable. Welcome to PHP. So the first, so Zinc parse parameters helps you to identify how, what parameter it is each other. So it starts to give to catch all the parameters in in PHP code and start to, to use that on C file. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, so here's the structure of the PHP source code. You can find more in this URL. So you have that code, the folder. Uh, we have some Git stuff. We had some Windows stuff. We have the Zend, the famous Zend engine is under its folder. Uh, some build stuff. Uh, then we have extensions. Uh, this is actually one of the most important parts of PHP because uh, you can write your own extensions, of course, but PHP has built-in extensions. Uh, then you have the main file. The main file, if you already work with C, you know that main function that receives the args and starts to compile is under here. So the famous question, where the PHP script starts in this script, in this folder, sorry. Uh, then you have some peer stuff, some the CLI stuff. Uh, we have some dev scripts we use in the core, and then all the stuff doesn't matter. Uh, here, there's in parse parameters. Actually, it's, it's light, so sorry. <laughs> uh, so in our example, we are going to base on uh, to code is countable. We are going to use this function uh, as an example. Why? Because remember the first slides. Is countable is something that is an array or an instance of countable. Look up the interval. Is an array or an instance of transversible. So it's like pretty close. So uh, here's a here's the actually function. So welcome. This is C code. You have the PHP function. So this uh, this is macro. So PHP function is a macro. Zend parse parameter is a macro. Returnable is a macro. So instead of declaring the whole C structure of functions, so for example, uh, in, in C you need to declare the return type, you need to declare the, the, the name function, all that stuff. So instead of that, PHP framework has this PHP function that hides all that complexity and exposes just the name of variable. So it's easy. So the name of the function, uh, Zival, Zival is actually famous. Uh, I will probably already. Uh, uh, hear about that. Zival is probably or actually everything in PHP. Everything in PHP is based on Zival. So Zival is a struct in PHP. I'm not going to so many C details. Uh, it's a struct in PHP. And uh, it's basically some unit tabs on almost everything. So in why we need Zival? Because we are receiving a mixed. So for example, if we 
count, for example. Count, we are receiving always an array, or in, the, or in some case, an object. So in our case, is still as eval, but for example, if you use to, I don't know, uh, some string function, would be a str string instead of eval, because a string is, is less, so in C, you always need to, to, re to um, I'm going to say that, always be aware of process, because in PHP, in PHP script, you always need to focus on performance. In C, it's even harder. Uh, so here's the same parse. Uh, you see that's a couple of statements. And we always we want to parse the zval part. So here. And we are returning a Boolean if Zend is iterable. So we're actually going to need to code for the, the VM because of that function. So let's start. So. As I showed you, we have this function. I'm going to copy and paste that. Because we want to create, instead of is interable, we want to create is countable. And countable returns true if a var is countable on an instance of countable. And uh, then it's countable. OK, we, have, we don't have that function yet. But remember that h file that I said? So type.c, we need to go to, in this case, it isn't type.h, uh, it's php type.h. So we need to declare our interface. So php countable. And as I said, we need to actually test that function. Because like, how am I going to know if this is working? So we need to write some tests for php. And writing tests in php is actually fun, because php tests is in PHP. It is in C. So PHP T files, this structure, have their own structure. They are writing PHP. So here is a test for the core in PHP. So you declare the test name. You give it some credits in our case for us. Here we have the file, hello world in our example, and our expectation. If it was in PHP unit, it would be like this, assert same, I don't know, echo, and hello world. So it's actually, in my opinion, easier than PHP unit. So this is actually a file here in PHP source code. Uh, if you're going to test, basically, 001.php, uh, pretty much the night, always, of course. So OK. Here, uh, the name of the test is trivial. Uh, here's the file, an echo statement, in your expectation. So it's actually pretty easy. Uh, how, how do I execute uh, tests in PHP? Uh, PHP has this file called run tests. Uh, it's actually a gigantic PHP file. Uh, I have it open here. So it's the, like, the black box of tests. So it's a really huge file, really huge file. 300 lines. Ending of a PHP tag, if you try to remove it, they won't accept that per request. I already tried. Uh, don't ask me why. <laughs> so to run the test, you need to call that file. So actually, you need to run that file, sap, CLI, PHP. Uh, we need to run that file, and we need to pass the test we are trying to test. So test, basically, 0, zero one. Uh, I need to pass a flag here. Uh, is to PHP script to indicate that I want to use this binary. OK, so here is the output. I will zoom in, zoom out, sorry. So you can get the uh, more. So here is the output. It's actually pretty simple. So some stuff. Uh, running the test, so we are running these tests, and the test can pass, fail, all, all that PHP unit stuff. So here, it passes. So it's actually working. So we're, I, I've already write some tests to gain some time. Um, in the time I proposed the function, I read these tests. So here. So the name of the test, some credits. Here I have some, some, some like statements. Uh, I'm trying to like base basic stuff, uh, some cat stuff, and then call it empty. 
uh, I have another variable here. So I'm, I have a, a, an array variable. I'm trying to count on that. I have a nullable variable. I'm trying to count on that. So here's our expectation. See that instead of using expect, I'm using expect f. Expect f is really funny because you can place some, you can pass some placeholders to it to be easier to test. Instead of you writing the role statement, you just use these placeholders. So for example, is countable on an array? Should it return true? Yes. So it returns. Uh, countable on an integer that is being cast into an array is true. Uh, is countable on an array that's an object? That's false. And he, remember that ZPP that we write here? Uh, ZPP, uh, actually, these numbers means what? Uh, we receive only one argument. And from all the arguments, in this case one, one is requirable. So if you grab some other examples here, uh, for example, is callable. You have the var you want to check. We have some booleans, in this case syntax in the string callable name. So you see, we received three parameters. Actually, is the opposite, sorry. So the second uh, name, the second number is the, is the total numbers. So for all the three arguments, only one is requirable. You need to pass another macro here. So it's ZPP is basically that, how you receive the arguments and start to change. So as, I, as we have this PHPT file, we can test it. Actually, yes, here. So, okay. So instead of passing our test, the test has failed because, as usual, we don't have that. F oh, where it is? Here. We don't have that function. But wait, we do have the function. So what went wrong? Uh, remember, I said we need to recompile all that stuff. So to recompile that stuff, we instead of running all of this, we can call make from make file, the tests, and pass some tests, tests here. And you see, it's trying to recompile all the C code. So this is C output. Uh, so here, uh, I, we have this call function called Zend. It's actually a nice output here. So it we call to an undefined function called Zen is countable. So we need to create that function. So we actually need to touch the Zend machine, the Zend of Vitor machine in the Zend API. Actually, let's start the opposite. Let's start with the H file. So we need to declare. So see, uh, remember the macro that I said, uh, PHP function? It writes all the complexity. Here's, here's a, a full statement of like declaring a function in C. So instead of doing all of that, it's called a function. So Zend is countable. OK. Uh, and if you go here, we have like uh, the Zend API uh, that returns a Boolean. Zend is, in this case, let me first duplicate that. Zend is countable here. So Zen is countable. Zen is countable, uh, we are going to switch the type of that zval. I'm reading C code. Pay attention to that. Because people are like, C code. C code is actually easy. So we, we are switching on that type of the countable zval. If it, the type of the zval is an array, it's OK. We return true in case of you return one. If it's an object, we will return if that object, in this, in this, uh, this macro is to um, get all the, all the implementations of the class in PHP, because in C we don't have classes. And we are check if, the, if they implement a, if it implements a countable. Countable. And the default returns false. So OK, we already coded that now. So Let's recompile. Uh, you see, PHP. OK, so we still get an error. So now we get an error from the PHP part. So how we debug that? So here in my folder, we have this PHP, let me show you. We have this PHP T file uh, that is 
uh, is in the the, contr the Git control. So we have other other files that like the file expect all this stuff is help you to debug what you write. So we are going to look at this diff file that is show what we wrote and what we get. So we are still getting some error. In this case, uh, is a PHP error saying that we don't have the is countable function. But wait, we coded here. Okay, then it's countable. We already coded here. So what is happening? What is happening is that when you have an extension, besides you 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 write the the function, you need to also declare again here Zend is so I I want to declare a PHP function called is countable. Fucking notation. Uh, and then an is that a is we can call an array here in C is actually a vector. Uh, of all the functions we have in that in our extension, in this case is the standard extension, so every PHP compiler we have it, and we declare inside of it. Besides that, we need to declare something called arg info. Uh, if you ever work with reflection in PHP, this is reflection. Reflection. Look up of on this, and okay. So if I reflection the function call countable, actually is countable. Uh, so here's some reference parameters we don't need to, actually, let me simplify. Let me call this here, easy. So arg info on countable, uh, we have one argument, and actually the, when I use this macro, I only uh, pass what required parameters are. So in this case, we have on required parameters. So should be right to go. If everything goes right. Yes, so it's working. So I don't know, maybe in 11, more, more, why? 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, we call the function for PHP and actually can close this file. So we write a test, we write the function, uh, we like everything, and it's here. In C code, it was, in, of course, if you have some complicated function, for example, if we go to see the, um, actually, array map function, uh, PHP function, I'm trying to show you the array map implementation in C. Because like, of course, some functions are easier than others to implement. So for example, we have this array map, array map function. So you see, it's complicated. It has some C stuff like I will probably never understand, but <laughs> that's true. And uh, like, for example, I don't, really get this cast in, in, in you, you cast a pointer in C, so like really complicated stuff. But I don't need to, because you, you saw, I like I copy and paste it from the previous function, because like I need to search for an array or accountable in this case. So it's here. So I code a function for PHP. And in that is the purpose talk. Like to, you to start to hack on the C code, like I want to create a, I don't know, uh, is an array and is interval. Is interval, no, sorry, is integer. So, like, you can, because it's easy. So, that's all for today. I want to thank you. Oh, so the actually hearts didn't show up. Cool. Google. <laughs> and uh, that's all. Thank you for your time. We still have 10 minutes, so if you want to write some, oh, so we have box. Does someone have questions? Uh, why we return one or yeah. Why we, we return one or zero, not Boolean value? Is this uh, okay? Because uh, you mean, uh, in, ah, okay, sorry, cool, I is the same API in C, we are trying countable. Here, you mean? Yeah. Uh, in C, 
we don't have like true and false. Yes, in modern C, like C89, C90, yes. Yes, it's actually a, a, a fun question because Nikita, uh, a couple of um, weeks ago, uh, started to implement this the new version of C, C89. No, Sweet C99. Uh, so it isn't merged yet in PHP. So yes, we 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 actually use the C89 on core. We don't use the C99. So this is why we still don't use the true or false. Okay, then the second question is uh, why this function are so big? This is not good practice, yeah? So why? Sorry, why? Because you saw a big class, big file, uh, or big functions mm -hmm. with uh, many lines. This is okay? That uh, PHP function or C function are so big? Sorry, I didn't understand the question. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Mm. <laughs> it's because my English sucks. Implementation of some functionality okay. uh, is big. Uh, is one in in one big function, yeah. Okay, okay. So this is not okay, yeah, because it's this is not okay for us on PHP. Uh, okay, okay, I get it. So why this is is oh, so complex the implementation? Exactly. Uh, I, okay, I'm not square you with some C code. Uh, in the they don't care. That that's the truth. The PHP actually is Hasmus in the house. No, so PHP search code is. <laughs> It's pretty bad. So okay. this is something like you can, some you, start, you can start to contribute to simplify some functions. Uh, there is actually an implementation of I don't remember what function was. I believe it was array count array sounds. I don't know. That was like was huge, but was so complex that you can actually simplify. Yes. So they don't care. That's the truth. They don't care. Like you can if it's if it's, if it's fast, okay. They don't care. That's the truth. Sorry. Uh, I ask uh, because I uh, know bec uh, other uh, programmers from other language uh, smile, f smile, or, <laughs> or yeah. So s you, you know, uh, you understand what I want to say, yeah? Yeah. So it, like in PHP, they so for example, we have some. For example, uh, this this function is small. So if you, you start to get some like up here, here's the Zen machine. So like the core of the core of PHP. So like some functions are simple. Some functions, like for this example, uh, then declare. Oh, he, here's how you declare a property in in, in PHP source code. So like here, 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 complex stuff. I don't know what's going on. So like, <laughs> it's complex. They don't care. That's okay. true. Okay. Someone so else? as you ask the first question, here's a gift for you. Is a T-shirt from a community and some stickers. <laughs> Next question. Okay, thanks uh, for the uh, for the talk. It was great. But uh, what's next? I have created my function and uh, I want to be part of the core. So what's next? What's those steps uh, which I need to do? Sorry, I have created a new function. Mm -hmm. I want to contribute into core. Okay. So uh, what I need to do? Uh, what you to need to do to, to okay? What's, what's the next? So besides code the function, of course you need to. As we now move it to GitHub, uh, we can you can open. Actually, I have it open. Yes, I hear. So yes, I have the implementation as I showed you. But in PHP, you have we have a process called RFCs. The, that is under the wiki.php.net/rfc. Uh, RFC process is the formal process of us internals to accept or decline functions. So in my case, I open a RFC called is countable here. It's formal, it's like judge stuff, all this stuff. So like introduction, why do I want to propose it? Uh, here's the documentation that I'm going to php.not, php.net slash docs. Uh, I inform if there is any BC, uh, what the version, and here, here's how p functions enter PHP. Uh, if you uh, we probably heard uh, recently that we have type it properties in PHP 7.4. So type it properties. Uh, here's a gigant RFC about PHP process, like all that stuff and uh, everything, PHP comp uh, compatibilities, all that stuff. And here, here's the voting. Like Dimitri vote against, but like we have seven votes against one. So this is how this stuff enters on PHP, the RFC process. Thanks. Anyone else?
have a question because uh, when implementing the function, you saw many Zend underscore functions to help to create the arguments of the function or something like that. Is the some source of the uh, documentation of this kind of functions? Yes and no. Like, <laughs> yes, this is actually something that I'm working on as I started to contribute to PHP Core. I don't know C, I need to be honest, I don't know C. So mm -hmm. I can contribute to PHP as a C developer. But yes, we can contribute for PHP as, a, for example, documentation. So there is a book like PHP internals.net, if I am correctly. Yes. So PHP.net is the, actually, is the PHP internals book that I'm looking for. PHP internals book. Here, the repository. I can grab the URL for you. So here is a is a is a is actually from Nikita and uh, from Nikita and Anthony Ferrara. Explains it isn't complete, so this is why I'm working on it. Isn't complete, so explain how all the all the Zen machine, all that stuff, all the parser, all the compiler, all the the mm -hmm. part of PHP. So if you want to to learn how Zen works, this is a good start too. This okay. is a place to start. Okay, thank you. Okay, there is a question. How many minutes do we have? Eight minutes, so it's still time. Hey, uh, so I found a bug in PHP, or more like an inconsistency that uh, <laughs> I was about to work on this weekend. Okay. Uh, and so I was wondering what is the process of uh, me submitting a merge request uh, on GitHub? What is going on? For a on bug after or that? for this? Okay. So as you find a bug, you can go to bugs.php.net and create a ticket. Like, I found a bug, this is how the bug. So let me. Um, okay, so let's open a random bug. So you open the bug saying what version of inconsistent, all that stuff. Uh, but if you open the bug and you already know how to fix it, you can go to PHP. As you don't have something called in PHP called karma, as you don't have karma to commit on the core, for example, I have karma to commit on the core. So like the, the la actually the, the last commit in the master bench is mine. So you open a normal pull request, we will evaluate that pull request. So for example, we have, so here you see, here's a ticket from the bugs. So Christopher, someone opened the bug. They don't know how to fix it. So Christopher, Christopher is actually the core developer responsible for PHP 7.3. And Christopher fixed it. So they open the pull request against GitHub, it starts to, to the normal open source stuff, and then if it's accepted, they merge it via, here, via GitHub, via git.php.net. GitHub is the interface for common, actually PHP on GitHub is actually from 2000, is it like PHP uh, post one? Here, it's from 2011. Like PHP is from, I don't know, 98, 95. So they move it up for GitHub only in 2011. So that's uh, normal, o open source, open up request on GitHub. Then we are gonna download your patch. If it's a set, download your patch and then submit it to git.php.net. Okay. okay, so uh, the point being that I just uh, submit one in a separate branch and, and that's it, and I can be done with that. Yes. yes. Okay, got it, thank you. Other question? Hi. Hello. Uh, my question is kind of related to the reflection API because mm -hmm. I was confused when you wrote a function uh, if there were actually any tests regarding to reflection API. It will actually work. I noticed that many PHP extensions have uh, really uh, bad reflection API, actually not working reflection, yes. uh, which is kind of problem when running status analysis on my code. So did you actually write any test covering uh, the reflection, reflection works? Uh, actually, it's something that I learned from the hard way, uh, because I started to open some tests to increase the coverage or reflection, and people start to close that. Why? Because in PHP 8, there are some spoilers, PHP 8, there won't be probably a reflection API. Why? Because we're going to merge that with the ZPP. Because if you actually, let's go to there. 
So you see that, like, how, I, how do I declare reflection manually? We don't have it, like, automated. So if you, if you can, for somehow, interpret the ZPP as a reflection, because, for example, here's the reflection. I have one required argument, and the, the type of that required argument is mixed, and the name of the function is, is countable. We can generate the reflection API via the ZPP. It, actually, it is implemented yet, but I don't think that we're going to maintain the, the reflection API for PHP 8, because like, it's so manually that, as you said, some extension doesn't have it. Right. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, some more questions? We have four minutes. No? So, thank you for your time.